Do you like figs? I love them. Well, I might be about to ruin them for you. In this special episode, we're going to take a look at the wacky world of plant pollination. Take a look at Fig 1. When most of us think of figs, we probably picture the fruit. However, have you ever pictured the fig flower? No? Well, you will after this. Boy, do I have a messed up story about fig flowers for you today. This lime looking thing actually is inverse flowers, is the fig syconium. The syconium is basically a container full of flowers. Weird, huh? How do insects pollinate it if it's outside in? Ah, now we're getting to the good stuff. There is a secret way in. Wow, like the fabled entrance to a pharaoh's tomb. This is the sneaky back door into the pink flower. Now here's where things get really nuts. Each kind of fig tree has its own specific fig wasp. The hole in the fig syconium is exactly the right size for this wasp. The flowers inside also release a smell that is intoxicating to the female wasp. The fig wasp, blindly drawn by the smell, crawls into the hole. This hole is super tight. It usually rips the wings and antenna right off the fig wasp. Once the battered fig wasp has made its way through the hole, it lays its eggs inside the syconium. Then it dies. These eggs become grubs that grow inside the seeds of the plant. After a few weeks, the wingless adult males emerge first. They mate with their sisters, who are still inside their cocoons, and then they bite a tunnel out of the syconium and die a few minutes later. By the time the adult females emerge, they are already fertilized. Coincidentally, the flowers inside are now fully grown and loaded with pollen. The females get covered in the stuff, exit out through the convenient hole their incestuous brothers dug for them, and then fly out into the big wide world to live happily ever after. Just kidding. They immediately fly over to another fig syconium. Rip their wings and antenna off getting into it and pollinate the flowers inside, starting the cycle again. The fig cannot exist without the fig wasp, and the fig wasp cannot exist without the fig. This same ridiculously complex process has been repeated now for 70 million years, to the point where these two partners are a prime example of co-evolution and incest. <laughs>